Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back. So in the previous videos uh, we have um, connected our Android Studio uh, application to Firebase and our Firebase to Facebook application. So in this video we want to design our main activity layout. So go ahead and navigate to this Material I.O. website where you can find the Material uh, color palette for your um, uh, Android application. So I have already decided what uh, which uh, color palette uh, should we use in this uh, application and I have added those colors here in colors XML file. So now we're going to start by designing our uh, layout. Uh, we're going to remove this uh, text view and uh, let's add uh, a vector asset here inside our drawable directory. So I'm going to choose a local for my uh, desktop. So I have prepared one uh, vector file for this purpose and I'm going to import that uh, right away. Okay, just click finish. And now I'm going to add the uh, image view here inside our layout. And uh, I'm going to select a vector file we just uh, imported. So scroll down and uh, OK. Click OK. Alright, so we need to decrease the size of our uh, image view. So for now it should uh, be for example 200 dp in width and height. OK, and uh, we see a warning here. Uh, so basically Whenever we uh, import a vector file inside our layout, uh, we need to add this line of code which says vector drawables uh, use support library equals to true into our uh, Gradle build file. Alright, and now that uh, warning will disappear. So let's connect the constraints for our image view. So lap, uh, left, right and top. Top constraint uh, should be 180 for now, but we might change that in the future. So uh, let's increase the size uh, of our image view a little bit so we can see how will that look. Let's decrease the, the top margin a little bit as well. And uh, we can run our application to see how will that look. All right. Okay, so we will decrease the size of our image view and we need to change our action bar title as well. So let's set uh, 60. Uh, dp uh, top margin and uh, let's open up uh, android manifest file okay so first let's uh, add one line of code to remove this uh, yellow warning so add this uh, android intent action view all right and in our main activity here uh, we're going to add the label and uh, which means basically we are adding our action bar title and it will say uh, simple as sign in so let's check it out okay so it looks uh, better than before and uh, uh, just below this image view we want to add two buttons so the first button will basically say uh, sign in with email and password something like that and the second button will say uh, sign in with facebook or continue with facebook or something so uh, let's create first uh, this uh, email and password button and let's add a padding to our root uh, constraint layout to 24 dp so uh, top margin for our image view uh, will be decreased to uh, 40 and let's connect the top constraint for our button okay top margin should be around 40 uh, uh, layout width to match parent and height to 65 dp okay so the text should say uh, email and password okay and let's run application Okay, so uh, we want to customize this button a little more. So we don't want to see those uppercase letters. And uh, in order to fix that, we're going to add uh, one attribute uh, uh, text um, all caps and we're going to set that to false. And uh, next we're going to add uh, a new drawable resource file with the name of uh, custom button. And here we're going to customize our button. So uh, root element uh, should be shape. And shape should be rectangle so let's add a solid here and let's set the color to our color ascent and the corners to uh, 10 dp so uh, let's uh, use a background attribute here and let's connect our custom button uh, resource file here okay and the text the color should be white now because we have an orange background and uh, white and orange uh, should fit uh, uh, better i think and let's increase the text size here as well so let's set the text size to 18 SP. All right. 
and let's uh, run our application in Android emulator to see how will that look. Okay, our button looks very nice now, and I think we should decrease the size of our image view more. Okay, so I'll set um, hmm, layout uh, width and height to 260 dp, or maybe we'll see. Let's start application again. Okay, for now uh, it will serve the purpose. And uh, in the next video we're going to import uh, and create uh, a sign-in with a Facebook button here. And uh, that's it for now.